Hello there, great person. Welcome back to Let's Read the Wheel of Time. And uh, yeah, so today we are at chapter 34. No, chapter 30, 35, of course. I'm stupid. It's called Sharp Lessons. It has the maiden spears and a shield. So let's see what this is all about and what shenanigans Rand will do. But we're with Egwen now, so we will probably not find out today. Or you will not. I will. So, yeah. And she is at the stone in Teleranriad. Okay. And Kalandor is back at its place. Okay, and there is a woman. Is it the weird old woman again? And she was quite bare. Okay. Except for golden chains hanging around her neck. That might be a dark friend. Tiny gold rings. Okay, whatever. Oh, <laughs> it's Elaine. <laughs> Elaine wanted to try out the clothes of the sea fork women. Okay. Oh, right, they're on the ship, I think. <laughs> so funny. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to see how it felt, and this seemed to be the best place. I couldn't do it on the ship, after all. How does it feel? Cold. <laughs> oh, uh, Elaine, why? Elaine. -y. I'm sorry. And it makes you feel people are staring at you even when there's no one there. Poor Tom and Julian. They do not know where to look most of the time. Half the crew are women. Tom Marilyn and Julian Sander, are they with you? Oh, Gwen. Rand sent them. Rand and Len. Well, Moraine sent Tom, actually, but Rand sent Master Sander to help us. And he was quite set up about it, about Len. Though, of course, she won't let on. Yeah. Okay, okay, so now Elaine is dressing a bit more. Like, uh, you know what? <laughs> Without realizing it, because she's got the stone ring, of course. And um, her subconsciousness apparently takes over. Like, what, what is, what's, what's wrong with you? Is it because she was so stag up all her life in the clothes? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, she's thinking about how she would li might like to look for Rand. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, is he? Well, I think he is. Okay. And then she told her. Great. Okay, now Rand is hard as Ruag or Len in some ways. Maybe harder. He's planning something. Yeah, please tell me what he's planning. It's gonna be so hilarious or terrible. He is what he is, Egwen. A king or a general cannot always afford to see people. When a ruler has to do what is right for a nation, there are times when some will be hurt. Yeah, it's true. And Rand is a king, Egwen. Even if without a nation, unless you count here, and if he won't do anything that will hurt anyone, he will end up hurting everyone. Nice Elaine, that's why I love her so much. Great. Great Elaine, tell her. Wow, that's actually harsh. So the Aiel, uh, no women become wilders? Because they are always taught and to uh, taught uh, the way of the one power. And uh, the men, they also don't, like, really get mad. They, if, if they have the signs, they will go kill the Dark One. Which means they will just go to the Blight and probably try to nuke as much as they can before they die. Wow, that is so, that is so dark. None survived long enough to face madness, yeah. Avienda will be very strong, I think. I must think so too. Yeah, Yorin as well. The, the the wind finder of the wave dancer. It's interesting that there are so many people that can channel that the acid I don't know about. It's so cool. It, it it shows that the one power usage is not limited to this one faction. I like that. So there are other ways. Yeah, it's also true. They don't they did not have to swear the oaths. Interesting. Yeah, why is once in wind find us at honored places in their societies without being bound to supposedly make them safe? It was something to think about. Yeah, the Hesedai seem a bit corrupt and high. Like, they seem like the old Jedi before they fall. Oh, and uh, Elaine is <laughs> learning to work the weather. You would not believe the size of the flows of air she can weave. Okay, they could be in Tangico in about three days or two. Okay, so like in two or three days, it's going to go down everywhere, I guess. 
A Gwen the Sea Fog thing grand is their Coramur. They do? Horn has some of what happened in Tierong. She assumes the acid I serve rent now, for one thing, and Eve and I thought it best not to put her straight about that. But as soon as she tells another sail mistress, they're all ready to spread the word and serve Rand. Wow, so Rand will have a sea fleet to kick off the Sonchan down the line and he's got the Aeol to kick off the Sonchan down the line. And of course the Dark One, but the Sonchan are more worrisome currently, I think. The Son Sonchan are so weird that you can't wait to find out what they are really about in the end. Oh, and Egwen's like, yeah, there's this guy called Coladin. He like, tries to want to try to kill Rand and Egwen uh, and, and Elaine is like, yes, that won't happen. It wasn't a request <laughs> or a question. <laughs> I will do my best. Ruag is giving him bodyguards, yeah. Yeah, and they they are talk they they say they want to talk again. It's so cool that they now have telephones. <laughs> Tell around your telephone. Okay, now Elaine asks about her letters. Did Rand already read them? I don't think he did. I just want to make him love me. Oh, I can't, man. Be simple. <laughs> At least he's away from Barry Lane. Oh, wow. Gwen is just ripped out of Teleranriot now. What is going on? Did you do that, Emis? You have no right to just hold me about. I am Esedai of the Green Ajar. The lie came easily to her lips now, and you have no right. Beyond the dragon wall in the White Tower, you are Esedai. Here you are an ignorant pupil, a fool child crawling through a den of vipers. I know I said I would not go to Teleranriot without you, but... Oh, and now he, she's hung up upside down. Great. Oh, and Emma's is like, Why did you do that? You're such a fool. There are things in dreams that are frightening and shatter the bravest heart. Sings. Sings to eat the bravest heart. I don't know why. Slipped out. My, my German accent slipped out. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a nightmare. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I must put her in a double awakening. Oh god. Sit down before I dose you for vapors and fidgets. You will not like the taste. Is it really you this time? I am myself now and also then. Sharp lessons are the best lessons. You mean to stab me? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. You gave me my word and you lied to me. I'm, I did not know as I could lie. If I am to teach you, I must know you will do as I say. That's true, yeah. I cannot shield you any longer. You are far stronger than I, and the bond power you are. You very nearly battered down my shield, but if you cannot keep your word, I do not know that I want to instruct you. Yeah, like, that's what I would have done first. Tell her, like, oh, I'm not gonna instruct you if you are like this. Braid your hair. Okay, why? One over each ear. If you have no ribbon to twine in the braids, I will give you some. That is how little girls wear their hair among us. Girls too young to be held to their word. When you prove to me that you can keep yours, you can stop wearing it. So, ha ha, ha ha, hey, Gwen, ha ha. <laughs> yeah, Gwen is really bratty a lot of the time. I don't know why. It feel like she's really the the loose cannon. Like she of all of them is the loose cannon, which is f weird. Because I always thought, like, when I watched the show, she was always so calm and collected, but, like, she's the complete opposite. Like, she's the one who's, like, a loose cannon. It's not even naive. Naive is, like, pretty calm most of the time. Like, she makes herself angry because, you know, she needs that to channel, but... Yeah. This was so unfair, Egwen said. Yeah, she's like a little child here. It's not fair. Yeah, Egwen, you will learn that. Like, there are things that are not fair, I think. Okay. I mean to be hard on you again, but not without purpose. That you think I have taught you much already only shows so little you knew to begin. Yeah, so Egwene again has the potential to be the best streamer there ever was. So, let's see how she goes on that way. Yeah, she's like, okay, next time I'll just ask Amis to accompany me. Which is, yes, it's not stupid. I will accompany you when you must meet your friends. Okay, thank you. Yeah. 
she like why didn't she ask her before i guess she doesn't fully trust her perhaps or it was weird yeah and now like when it's like emma's but you have to teach me quickly because dark friends are in the like near and rand is like also unstable he troubles us already um yeah and now she goes half naked into the night why Okay, now they go naked into a tent. Great. And Moraine was already there. Okay, so it's a sauna, like like a what's it called? A steam bath. I don't know this relaxing place where there's steam. Are they now taking drugs, perhaps? We must discuss what to do about Randall Forbear said. Okay. Do about him? Yes, the science is the one you've been looking for. Yes, the one. Oh, and Melaine's like, we just have to make sure that, that like, as much people of us as possible will survive. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. And just as importantly, we must ensure that he survives to fulfill the rest of the prophecy. As no one will survive. Yeah, that's true. That is interesting. Now the, the women are like, oh, wow, what? Yeah, that is very interesting. I just, it's just... So they are like, yeah, we have to guide him. Like, Ruach will not guide him. We'll just give him advice. We have to guide him. And Morin's like, uh, do you think he needs guiding? Is that because he was in Ruidian? Or, like, has he changed? Or is it just, like, is she just testing out the waters to find people to help her, like, guide him? I don't know. It's so weird. Okay, so they want to tell him about their customs so he doesn't make a fool of himself when he meets the chiefs. Okay, so they want someone to, to tell him what he says, has to say, but that he won't do that. He won't do that. Okay, okay. I, I, I get that they want to save their people at least as, as much as they can. Yeah, and they're, they're like, hey, Gwen, doesn't he trust you? You know him from childhood. And Gwen's like, I, I don't think he does that anymore, not as it was before. We served as the day once, Bear said. We felt them then. Perhaps we are meant to serve again. Interesting, yeah. I have little influence on Rand, Moran said. For the present, he weaves the pattern to his own design. Yeah, I think he, she accepted it. So, like, I hope she has. Because that's also getting aggravating that her, her inner dialogues. L like, I get her, it's well written, but I'm just like, Moran, come on, man. It hasn't worked for like 50 times now. Okay, so Avienda will guard him. And Avienda's like, nope, I'm not gonna do that. Avienda, uh, Avienda, no one is asking you to portray Elaine, only to talk to him. Yeah, okay, that's why she doesn't want to do it. Is there a reason you can't stay near him? I hate him! <laughs> just, just, just remind me of Anakin. I hate you! <laughs> We're not asking you to love him or take him to your bed. We're telling you to listen to the man and you will obey. Do none of you grow up, I'm snorted, yeah. And they're suggesting that she spends the nights digging holes and filling them in to clear her head. Oh. Yeah, and Egwene is like, just think of it as after as looking for him af uh, looking after him for Elaine. Yeah, that's probably gonna make her do it. You like her too, I know. You can tell him she says she meant what she said in her letters. You will like hearing that. Oh, so that's also why we got the scene, so he, she can now tell her to do that. I will do it. I will watch him for Elaine. For Elaine? Yeah. Amy shook her said, foolishness. You will watch him because we told you to go. Nope. You have no power here, old woman. Now that that is settled, let us enjoy the steam and silence while we can. There's much for some of us yet to do tonight and for nights to come. We are to bring a gathering to Al Kerdal for Randall Thor. Yeah. And Moraine sees something in the distance. What is she doing? Was it bad? Ridian, I mean? Memories fade, Moraine said. Most are already gone. Some I knew already. Others, the will weaves as the will wills. And we are only the thread of the pattern. I have given my life to finding the Dragon Reborn, finding Rand, and seeing him ready to face the last battle. I will see that done, whatever it requires. Nothing and no one can be more important than that. Wow, that's weird. 
Wow, yeah. Moraine is like, I have to make him ready. I don't care anymore. I just have to support him now, I think. I guess. Anyway, that was the chapter. So, thanks again for joining in. Joining me read this. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and perhaps ring the bell. Uh, by now, the first episode probably has already dropped and I've seen it and reacted to it. So, thanks for watching that reaction as well. And if you have not watched that reaction yet, do so and share it, of course. <laughs> but I also hope you have a very great day and uh, see you soon. Bye.